My name is Franz Degen, I'm the CEO of Devisoft Austria. Right now, I want to show you the latest technology, the latest innovation in data acquisition units. Data acquisition units are done for 30, 40 years. I do it and sell it for 30 years. But this is unique. Why? Look at this. We have several input channels and you connect any sensor. You don't even know what kind of sensitivity. The dual core technology running two ranges will care about that. You just connect, you measure. You have small uh, signal inputs, you have high signal inputs, microvolts or high voltage, vibration, counter, whatever. That's it. And we will show you how you're going to use that in a minute. Only smart counter can guarantee that you have synchronized data between the counter and the analog signals. And we're going to show you how that works. Measuring digital signals, for example, from an encoder, and analog signals at the same time, simultaneously synchronized. This is our key feature. Let's see, we store data always only on the rising edge of this AD clock. But when you look at this signal from the counter, the counter signal comes, comes asynchronous to the analog channel. So if we can store data here of the counter value at the AD clock, then you, we would store maybe at this point a 1, at this point a 2, at this point a 3. This is the value of the counters if you calculate that. To see the precise value of this counter at this rising edge would be 1.37. At this point it would be 1.87. This only can be done if you run two counters. They measure the counter and they measure the value between the analog signal and the counter. This all together gives you a very nice precise value of the counter at the, sign, at the time of the reading. And that's the problem. But we do that. Why we do that? What is this used for? I'm going to show you. So let's show now just a simple, uh, again, Tubisoft setup. I prepared uh, and I use this as a Tubisoft water tracking. And I immediately go to my measurement mode. Now if I say I take this wheel, give them a push, and make a nice rundown of this, um, uh, let's say, channel. So what I show you here are three pictures. You see here the, the RPM of this wheel. And actually this wheel has an unbalance here. So it's not smooth running. So this not smooth running, you see here on the time base how it's, how it's really working. Uh, on that up, so this is a time-based measurement. Here I can show an angle-based measurement from 0 to 360 degree. And you see, if this would be stable, then uh, the, 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 uh, let's say the variance of the RPM is very little, you see here. If I move it to this 90 degree, oops, so if I move it to 90 degree, then you see the variance of the RPM during one revolution is very high. So this what we call also is a rotational vibration based on the unbalance of this wheel. Very nice measurement, precise counter measurement is necessary to show that in angle based and time based. So here also we say the rotation vibration, but how about the body vibration? Body vibration needs to be measured in a, with an analog signal. You know, I just take my analog sensor and put it on top of the shaft and make this measurement again. So here we see the angle-based measurement, and now I add on this channel, the vibration channel in here, so now we see a body vibration and a rotation vibration at one time. See time-based, angle-based, counter and analog at the same time. That's an absolutely unique feature. If you ever have a customer, you sit on a steering wheel in your car, you feel the vibration. Where does the vibration come from? Most of the time vibration, especially if the car does not move, comes from the engine or whatever rotating part, but you feel it like a body vibration. So this to analyze, to optimize and to get rid of it, you need a Dubisoft system. The series can do that. This would be one part, but now I explain you only this left part of the window. How about the right, the right part? I just stop and start again and make this, uh, uh, this, this um, start, make this Run again. Now I make a coast down from 5600 RPM to zero. Here I can show you which RPM are critical RPMs 
it's shown this in the order tracking window. And this order tracking and the whole setup also is very easy to do and very uh, uh, convenient. So this window, whenever a customer needs angle-based, time-based, order tracking, rotation vibration, torsion vibration, you can see we can do that, trust me.